Good morning, everybody. Orin Jay here with another War of the Visions video. And tomorrow in Global, we have Freezies, the Ice Dragon Vision card combo that is going live, right? Now, this is not a surprise. We got Valentine's Day Solier last week. This is a perfect thing for her, but it's also really good for some other units. So we're going to do a little video here. We're going to talk about the vision card, the Esper, who they're the best on, and should you pull for it? Do you need it in your ice teams for your account? Well, maybe this video will help you find out. Let's talk about it. All right, now real quick, before we start talking about all the things you see on the screen, if you need some Vizior to go after Freezy here, please consider using my Amazon coin affiliate link. It's located down in the description. Best way to buy Vizior and best way to support the channel, support what I do here. So thank you to everybody who does that. You guys uh, make this job possible. Now, let's talk about... Um, like this vision card in Esper, and I think the best place to start is the stats on the vision card. So that's on the screen now. There's a couple things that really stand out, and I circled them. And it's that this card is for a magic using person, right? Now, the party effects, which we'll get to in a minute, are just generically great for an ice team. But you're going to want to put this vision card on an ice unit that scales off of magic. The stat line is a lot of HP. Four defense, which is a nice little sprinkle in there, and 142 magic. The unit effect is increased magic by 30%. Now, in global, we are getting the additional effect of more HP and more magic resistance. So it does become a little better for non-mages, but it's mostly just better for magic units, that, or for tankier units that scale off of magic, even with those global upgrades. Now the party effects here, ice attack up 35, your ice group's gonna love that. Critical damage up is fine, that's not like a game-breaking stat, not as good as like critical rate up in my opinion, but still, it will be a little more damage overall for your group. And then 25% more HP for your ice units, Who's not going to like that? That might be the difference between getting two shot on your bruiser or three shot on your bruiser. And ice element is full of bruisers if you want to run a mono ice team. Okay, so that's the vision card. What the stats are. Who wants to equip this, right? Like who are the ice units that this would be good on? All right, now I think the most obvious um, unit for this vision card is somebody like Sweetheart Salir. She is another ice bruiser except she's an ice bruiser that scales with magic if we go to her skills here you will see that like this little um icon right here that i'm hovering over means that this skill scales off of magic she also brings ranged attacks along with magic attacks right chi shot chi shot chi super shot which is like one of her upgraded this scales 100 percent off of magic it also scales off of her dexterity agility and luck so she gets a big boost from this card um, Twin Chi Rupture, Detonation Blast, these skills also scale off of magic, dexterity, agility, and luck. 100% magic scaling on these, that's big for her. She's going to get full advantage of what this card brings. Her sub jobs, like, also scale off of magic. Time Mage, if you're running her Time Mage, even her non-elemental skills will get a boost from the unit effect of this, although they won't get the ice attack bonus from the group effect. Um, her black mage, however, Blizzaga, Blizzard, Blizzara, those will scale with that, and her limit break also scales with this card perfectly. She is the um, one of the best candidates for this card, and she's kind of a physical damage bruisery character. This card with the global exclusive upgrades will give her more magic resist, and it will give her more HP, which will help her survive a lot of the mages running around in global right now. So Salir, absolutely a great candidate for this card. Next up is a sort of obvious one again, it's Medina. Medina, not a bruiser at all, but a total black mage. If you go down to her job, right, like Blizzard, Blizzaga, all these skills going to scale very well with this card. I do want to point out though, that Flare while it will get all of the magic scaling from this card, will not scale with the ice attack up. Flare is non-elemental. So that lowers the usefulness of this card for Medina a little bit because Medina likes to use Flare if you've ever used her before. 
Um, same story with the rest of her stuff right here. Green Mage does is okay with this card. Black Mage, Drain, Osmos don't really work with it, but Blizzara does. And then Ninja, obviously. Well, Hyoten will scale with uh, the Ice Attack up. And then her Limit Break will scale well with this card. Medina, an okay person for this card. Honestly, it's probably Medina's best card, but not as good for her as it is for Salir. Rosa is next. So let's talk about Rosa a little bit. She is another pretty good candidate for this card because she is like that support slash um, magic user that needs a little bit of survivability, in my opinion. So let's look at her skills. Her main job, um, Ice Crystal Arrow, all these like shooting ones down here will scale with the ice attack, but will not scale with any of the magic. So really on her main job, you're getting more damage from holy from the unit effect stuff but you're getting no more damage from holy with the ice attack up because it's a light element attack right so she will heal a little better her prey scales with magic you can see that right here um and her holy scales with magic so she'll be a better healer and a slightly better damage dealer because of the ice attack up that will help her with like ice crystal arrow and surefire shot now her sub jobs, White Mage of Baron, more attacks that will scale with the group buff, Ice Attack up. Her White Mage will scale really well with all of the magic on there. And then her Black Mage, I feel like we've talked about Black Mage enough. Um, it scales really well with this card. Her Limit Break, Miracle of Two Moons, um, will also scale with the magic on this card, but it is non-elemental, I believe. So it will not get any benefit from the Ice Attack up. Rosa, though, a good option for this card, honestly. Then, last up, I want to talk about Fryevia. Because Fryevia, a lot of people I've heard chatter right now saying, hey, maybe this means Fryevia's EX job is coming. Because this card is such an obviously good Fryevia card. She scales with magic, right? Like, let's go to her skills here. You can see Ice Attack Up and Magic Attack Up will make every one of her skills on this page hit harder, right? Blizzaga Blade, Silence Blade, Chicken Blade, all of that. For her Taunting Spell, it will hit harder, right? Like, it scales off of Magic, Dexterity, Agility, and Luck, and it's Ice Attack. She is going to be a great option for this card, and she's a tank. This is going to give a bunch of HP to her. It's going to give her more Magic Resist, which this girl can already get insane levels of Magic Resist, and it's going to help her do more damage. This is a big time win if you're a Fryavia user, and if they drop a Fryavia like Global EX or something, if they just hook us up with that, then this card's value goes up a lot, especially if they really make Fryavia good with her Global EX. Not that I think she's bad anyway. And then her White Mage will also scale pretty well with this, but it's hard to run Fryavia on White Mage because she loses access to Taunting Spell, but maybe they fix that with her EX, right? Maybe they give her some other e, um, way of generating hate. I don't know that we're getting the EX. I'm not promising anything like that right now. I'm just talking about the four units that I think really work with this card. So, we got Salir, Medina, Rosa, and Fryavia. Those are my four, like, big-time users of this card that I think you should max this card out if you like to use those units. Okay, we still have one more thing to talk about, though. We need to talk about the Esper. And here it is. So you can see it on the screen. Let's look at the stats first. Okay, 15 agility. I pretty much always start there when I'm looking at espers. 15 agility is really like mediocre, right? It's not super slow. It's not very fast. It is acceptable. 15 agility is fine, but this is not going to make somebody really fast or anything like that. Meanwhile, 1300 HP, that's really good. Um, 84 attack and magic. So this does not lean one way or the other for attack and magic on the stat pool of the Esper. That's good. You could put this on basically um, any type of unit you want to, it looks like. It also adds some confusion resist, etc. It's going to give you a minus 10 to fire, and it's going to give you a plus 10 to wind. That's pretty expected out of a um, ice element Esper. Now, the cast effect of this, right? We, I believe this is going to be the first thing that applies the new AP drain status effect. Not 100% sure on that yet, but it hits in this cone that you see right here, like frontal expanding cone, does nice damage, um, decreases healing and ice resist while giving your, um, giving your units a big attack and magic buff, especially a big buff if they're ice element units. So it is a good summon to um, actually use. Now the skill tree 
is the really interesting part of Espers for me. This one, really good. First of all, Spirit. It has Spirit on it. You guys, personally, I value Spirit more than I value Magic Resist. Spirit is good against any type of magic attack, not just like pure mages magic attacks, right? Like um, slashing based magic attacks are checked by spirit. Magic based magic attacks are checked by spirit. Punching based magic attacks are checked by spirit. I really like spirit. So being able to pick up another fifth, what, five, eight, 12, 15 spirit from this, pretty good. It has machine killer on it, which at first glance, you might think, eh, machine killer is kind of lame. Uh, 2B exists, and 2B not gonna like getting machine killed, if you know what I mean. It also gives magic attack up, it gives more wind killer, so, um, F's in the chat for 2B if she fights against this. There's also fire resistance, you guys know how prevalent fire attack is in this game right now, and there's ice attack up, which you pick up 6 magic resist on the way there. This card is super, or this Esper, excuse me, is super good for like your ice element bruisers or your ice element tanks, especially magic tanks like Forevia. Spirit, magic resist, great. Ice attack up, any ice element attack, gonna work for that. Fire resistance, this will make you super good against like your rains and your mods. Well, I mean, you know, it's hard to be super good against King Mont, that dude's broken. But, um, Cool. Okay, Wind Killer, Magic Attack up. This is a really good Esper. So if you do get it, even if you can't max the Vision card, if you like using Ice Element units, I really do like this Esper, and I think it's worth investing in. Okay, so let's wrap this video up by talking about if I'm gonna pull for it and if you should pull for it. So for me, I was not chasing Valentine's Day Salir last week. I did the nine step and I was like, well, if I get her, cool. Well, I got her. And I've been slow building her over the course of this week. She's in like, she's level like 91 for me right now or something like that. So I am going to go for this vision card in Esper because I think there's some really, really powerful, um, like ice based anti magic bruiser teams out there. You have Finrear in the ice element. He will work so well with this vision card Esper combo. Um, maybe Agrius makes a little bit of a comeback as she can get that spirit and magic resist stacked so high that she can, uh, you know, survive some rounds of this Black Mage Helena. She can kind of check rain a little bit, maybe. That's scary, right? That's scary, but maybe she can do it now. I'm going to certainly try. I'm excited for Ice Element to kind of revive itself again with this a little bit. I don't think it sweeps through the meta like it did when like Orin and EX Gilgamesh were a big thing, but I do think EX Gilgamesh right back in the meta mix. Orin right back in the meta mix. I'm named after Orin, so I, any chance for me to bust this dude back out, I'm going to do it. This is going to help me do it, and so I'm going for it. Now, should you go for it? That comes down to like, do you like to play ice element stuff? If you're an ice element player, this is a core vision card and Esper for ice element groups. If you're just kind of a fringe ice element player, or you might use like one every once in a while, this is not a limited thing. It's something that could just come to you naturally over time. I don't think there's a rush for it, unless you just want to like bust your ore in Gilgamesh Valentine's Day Salir comp out and shove it down some people's throats right now like I want to do so I'll go for it You got to make that choice yourself. It is a very good Esper vision card combo though So that's the video you guys if this was helpful for you and you liked it Please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have it and I'll see y'all in the next video Peace